uh, hi everyone so in this uh, tutorial uh, now we are uh, going through while loops right uh, for last few videos so today we'll continue this okay so this is where we stopped last time right so we made it run two times so now you know the strategy of making it running two times kind of things and i asked you to try five ten times i hope you tried okay so how you can play around with the values so i said it doesn't x doesn't have to be zero always and this conditional value doesn't have to be two always the checking value so only the difference matters no that is what makes this uh, while loop runs uh, a particular number of times and the number that you want okay so now uh, what you currently did is uh, you know you see the printed print and some values some fixed value hello hello world or whatever so since you have done follow up i think this might not be that hard to you but still i am telling <clears throat> so now what if you are doing something that is dynamic okay let's say if i ask you to print the values 1 to 5 1 to 5 how you can do it within the while loop okay so you you cannot write like serial printer and one serial printer and two serial printer and three serial printer and four serial printer and five if you are write like that if you want to write like that why do you have to have a while loop you can write outside of the while loop without while loop you can just write inside the void setup that will work so we have to make the code very short right with some strategy right so how you can do is let's say i am telling you only you can use only one serial printer within the while loop and loop has to iterate and you have to print from 1 to 5 because if you write 5 serial printer lengths you don't need to have a while loop you can write outside of the while loop or without the while loop understood so <clears throat> there's a problem no earlier while loop was iterating the x was changing but whatever you're printing was a fixed value now the problem is you are printing a changing value 1 2 3 4 5 like that so in this whole scenario what is changing the variable x is the only thing that is changing so you have to take advantage of the variable x to implement this scenario you understand what i'm telling i'm repeating you have to do a changing thing now you have to print something that is changing so if you check the whole code there is only one thing that is changing the x value is changing so you have to take advantage of the x value you understand so i will uh, demo something so that you can get some idea okay so let's keep this this way if if i do like this i am going to take advantage of the x, x value so in simple ways i am going to print the serial serial value serial print some values uh, and uh, that value has to be changing value so what is the changing value we have here x so i am going to take advantage of the x so in other words i am going to print the x value see what happens we can print like this right because we can define the we have uh, declared and uh, initialized a variable x and uh, integer value and we can print like this right without double quotes the value whatever is stored in the memory location of x will be printed i told you those things at the beginning right so otherwise you have to go through the whole session and come back here i mean eventually you have to come here so that is fine so if i write like this you guys can tell me what will happen we will simply see so the initial value of x is now zero yes or no no questions on that so we'll come here i'm sorry guys <laughs> so we'll come here line number five and we see line number five x is now zero so zero is less than two the condition is being checked it is true so we have to get into the while loop simple right so then we are going to print the x so what is x value now zero right so we have to print zero first so zero will be printed okay now we increase the x by one so now what is the current x value 1 okay now again as you know how the while loop works we will come to line number 5 and check 1 is less than 2 or not 2 or not 1 is less than 2 so this is again true so and we will now come and print the x value now again so what is x value now 1 you understood so we will print 1 okay that's fine then we will go for a x plus plus we will increase the x by one so what is the new x value it is two okay so we will again go to the line number eight and line number five we will go and we will check still the while condition is true or not so now what is x value two so two is less than two is true or not not true it's false so now the while loop become false 
So we have to skip the line number 5 to 8. So we'll come to out of the while loop line number 9 and we'll go to line number 10, void setup finishes and we'll get into the void loop. So if you have seen, you have printed the number 0 and 1 in, a, in the terminal. So from number 0 to 1, you have printed. So earlier you was just printing one high value or hello value. Now you are printing a changing numbers, right? So this is something you have to take care because uh, this is very, very important because you have to take advantage of this variable because you don't have a choice. You can have a fixed string here. No, because the value has to be changed. So the only thing changing is X. So you print it. So earlier when you are printing hello, I said you can change X values and make sure only the difference comes here. That's enough. You have to do print hello five times. You can have this x and uh, x value anything and only the condition checking value also you have to change according to that. You can run it five times. That means uh, let's say if you want to print zero hello two times it can be zero x can be zero and value can be two or even otherwise x can be one and this can be three. No problem right. x can be two this can be four to run hello world. But now it will it is not the case. We have to print zero and one. So we cannot have x two and four. So the difference only the only difference is not the only one that matters or well, value also matters because we are going to print the value also earlier the difference is the only thing that matters so this is the new thing i am telling same thing but i am just telling newly so focus on this zero one okay so now what what if somebody asks you to display the numbers from zero to five what can you do so you have to make sure this iteration happens five times so that zero one two three four five that means uh, Let's say go for 1 to 5, okay 1 to 5, 1 to 3, 4, 5, 5 times and you have to make sure the x values at the times are 1 to 5. You understand? So 5 times you have to work and the values also should be x values also 1 to 5. Then only you can print x, 1 to 5. So anyway, initial value should be 1 then. Yes or no? So then I will have less than 5. Is that correct? It is not correct, right? Because if I have x is less than 5, 5 cannot be here. So we cannot print have 5 here. We will miss it because 5 less than 5 is false. So since the maximum x value we are going to have 5. Okay. So I will make this comparison as 6. Okay. So when the maximum value 5 comes here it is still true. Only for 6 this become false. So that's not a problem. You understand what I am doing. Or otherwise if you still want to keep 5. You can use less than or equal x is less than or equal to 5 you understand so in this case even when the 5 comes here it is true but when 6 comes it's false no problem so 1 to 5 can get into the while loop i hope you understand what i'm talking about so now uh, likewise i said you can try so first time x is 1 so we will get into the loop because this is still true so we will display number 1 then we will increase the new x is 2 so 2 is less than 5 it is true we will print 2 okay then again we come here in sorry increase so the new x value is 3 uh, we come here and we will come to line number 5 3 is less than 5 it is true we again come and print x between 3 so then again we increase new x value is 4 we come here line number 8 we again come to line number 5 and check 3 is less than 5 is true we again come and print 4 and again x is increased by 5, 1, so 4 plus 1, 5, new x value is 5, we come to line number 8, we come to line number 5, uh, 5 is less than or equal to 5 is still true, because 5 is equal to 5 is true, right, so we still get into this, and we'll print 5 also here, we print x, that means we print 5, so maybe I will find the space, okay, then we again increase the x value, so the new x value is now 6, x plus plus, 5 plus 1, 6, gotcha, so we'll come to line number 8, and we will again check the while condition at line number 5. So 6 is less than 5 is false. Because x value is 6. So we will skip the whole process and come to line number 9. Line number 10 and we will move to the void loop. So now if you have seen this, you have printed the line number 1 to 5 completely successfully. Guys, you understood what I am telling about? So what I am asking now you is uh, try to do these kind of things. Like you have done 1 to 5. Uh, just try to print... Uh, 10 to 15 How you can do it figure out so the difference has to be 5 uh, 10 11 12 13 14 5 1 2 3 4 5 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? So the 5, difference has to be 5 and the x values also should sync up with these values, 10 to 15. You understand? So it, you cannot take any, any 5 difference values, any values that has difference as 5, no. You have to take values from 10 to 15 that eventually has the difference as 5 for x, okay? So think about the scenario and implement it. We will see about the other applications of this like blinking LEDs, not switching on LEDs using this while loop uh, and using X kind of things we will see in the next video. So until then have a great day guys, consider subscribing us, bye.